dear brothers and sisters i'm happy to be with you again in this episode to take a closer look at a marian saint and martyr maximilian kolbe saints are highly motivated christians yet they remain serene and unassuming individuals in their lives One such saint is surely Maximilian Kolbe. His life gives evidence that God has not given us a spirit of timidity but of power, love and self-discipline. He was born in Poland to pious Catholic parents in the year 1894. He was named Raymond at baptism. His mother told the story that when he was 10 years old he had a vision of Mary holding out two crowns to him. Mary asked which he wanted. The white crown of purity or the red crown of martyrdom. Raymond answered I choose both. From his younger days, he was an ardent lover of Mary Immaculate and dreamed to gain the whole world for the Immaculate Mother of God. Raymond joined the conventual Franciscans when he was 16 and took the name Maximilian Mary. As a Franciscan priest, he loved a life of purity and desired martyrdom for the sake of Christ, whom he loved intimately. He worked hard to spread devotion to Mary, whom he loved very tenderly. Due to his ardent efforts to promote consecration and entrustment to Mary he is known as the apostle of consecration to Mary he firmly believed and said he who is at the service of the immaculata certainly will be saved and become a saint a prolific writer he started a series of journals that promoted Christian faith and love for Mary, the mother of God. He was even sent to Japan as well as to India as a missionary. In Japan, he founded spiritual centers named City of Mary Immaculate. When he returned to Poland in the year 1939, the Nazis invaded Poland. He opposed their godless spirit and their cruel ways of ending the life of many who were weak and vulnerable individuals, especially those who came in their way. During the World War II, Maximilian Kolbe gave shelter to thousands of Polish people both Christians and Jews risking his life to help these suffering people on February 17 1941 he was arrested by them and soon he was sent to Auschwitz detention camp in Poland it was the largest and most horrible death camp there He was given a convict's uniform and the number 16670. On July 30th, 1941, a prisoner escaped from Auschwitz, the notorious Nazi concentration camp in Poland. In retaliation, the camp authorities lined up the inmates of cell block number 14 and ordered that 
ten of them be selected for punishment one of them francis a married man and he cried out in tears my poor wife and children i will never see them again at this point another prisoner stepped forward calmly and firmly volunteered to take his place he was none other than father maximilian colby who lived in the same camp the commander accepted his offer and he was sent to the death bunker in july 1941 colby passed the days in the bunker by leading his fellow prisoners in prayer and preparing them for death by august 14th colby and three others were still alive soon they were dispatched by injections of carbolic acid and the bodies were creme- cremated in the camp ovens thus he embraced christian martyrdom i'm sure that colby was pleased that his death occurred on august 14th 1941 on the eve of the virgin's assumption to heaven father colby's death was not a sudden last minute act of heroism his whole life had been a preparation his holiness was a limitless passionate desire to convert the whole world to god and his beloved immaculata was his inspiration in 1982 pope john paul ii canonized him as a martyr of charity in rome he cited the words from the gospel of john there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends all are called to be holy to become saints saints are gradually shaped by god in this process mary our blessed mother is a sure inspiration and help to all of us we pray be with us mary along the way and guide every step we take lead us to your son jesus come with us mary come amen let us now conclude our reflection with a hail mary hail mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen